My name is Ryan Brune, and I am a graduate student at The Ohio State University in the Department of Materials Science and Engineering. My work in the Impulse Manufacturing Laboratory focuses on the application of high strain rate techniques to metalworking processes. This video discusses the application of electromagnetic metalworking to create a sealed structure via shearing, flanging, and hemming operations. Electromagnetic metalworking is a high-speed process that uses electromagnetic forces to deform metal workpieces. Rather than using a physical punch or roller, as with most metalworking operations, high current electricity driven through a conductive coil creates a strong magnetic field that can be used to do mechanical work. In the setup shown, a copper coil with a single path is connected to the positive and negative terminals of a capacitor bank. A conductive workpiece, typically aluminum or steel, is placed within this coil in very close proximity. The capacitor bank is charged to several thousand volts, and after charging is complete, the energy is released through the coil system over only a few millionths of a second. Because the workpiece is conductive, the electrons in its structure are magnetically influenced to move when the primary current passes through the copper coil. The electrons in the workpiece move in the opposite direction of the primary current, creating what is called an induced eddy current in this structure. Because the primary current and eddy current are traveling in opposite directions, a strong repulsive magnetic force is created between the coil and workpiece just like how two stationary magnets will repel each other when their similar poles are brought near one another. In this case, however, the force is so strong that the thin metal workpiece becomes deformed into a new shape. Depending on the coil and workpiece geometry, this process can be applied to several different operations in a relatively simple manner. There are several benefits of using electromagnetic metalworking over other metalworking processes, mainly due to the high velocity nature of the process and its simple implementation. When some metals are deformed to high velocity, they can exhibit increased formability over slower processes, and a degree of precision shape control can even be implemented if the system is properly calibrated. This is often implemented to reduce springback issues associated with common forming operations. Because there are few moving parts, the EM metalworking process features a simple equipment design that lends itself to low capital cost and small equipment footprint on the production floor, offering few opportunities for component failure. Additionally, the capacitor bank energy source used for this operation can be applied to a wide array of coil designs for other operations, or even applied to completely different operation types, such as vaporizing foil actuator metalworking. In addition to these benefits, electromagnetic forming can be simply applied to a number of operations that are not easily implemented with most other means. Using a wound coil with several turns, Operations like tube expansion or compression can be easily implemented, allowing for axisymmetric joining of dissimilar materials. Shallow die cavity forming can also be conducted using a different coil geometry. Using a single turn coil, however, sequential edge operations can be conducted, such as shearing, flanging, and hemming. These sequential operations can be applied to create a sealed container structure. Inclusion of a rubber interlayer allows for a tight seal to be made between the mating parts. A prototype system for this process has been developed that uses the same coil for initial blank shearing, 90 degree edge flanging, and sealing hemming, just by simple interchanging of the dies and support structures. The structure consists of a small 7 inch by 7 inch container with an inner cavity. The following demonstration illustrates the use of this equipment.
The illustrated process clearly showcases the ability of the coil assembly to be used for shearing, flanging, and hemming operations, allowing for the creation of a sealed container structure. A cross-section was also cut from one of the bowl structures to measure the seal compression in the joint. The operation compressed the seal from its starting condition on the right to the compressed condition shown between the stainless steel bowl and the hemmed aluminum workpiece. Measurements indicated that the solid thickness of the rubber, excluding the inner gap, was compressed by 19%, indicating that it retains some internal compressive strain after the operation was complete, which is a good characteristic of a sealed structure. Thanks for watching this video on the creation of a sealed container structure via electromagnetic shearing, flanging, and hemming operations. Be sure to visit our website for more short videos and information about our impulse manufacturing technologies.